everybody, this is Tamika Hall from GospelInsiderNews.com and this is the second in the Publishing 101 Write the Vision series. So last week we talked about are you author material? We answered that question and you can go back in time and you can watch that as well. But today we're actually talking about crafting the story. So the first thing that we need to talk about is time. We're going to talk about character development and we're going to talk about actually being organized when you're writing your story. So let's say with time. With time, for me, I'm a mother of four, the wife of one, I'm an entrepreneur, and I also work as well. And so I don't really have a lot of free time. But what I do when I am in the process of writing a book, I make it a point to set aside 15 minutes a day to do something with my book, whether that's going back and reading something that I've already written, whether it is actually writing more and adding more to the story. So I do all of those things, and I take just 15 minutes a day. 15 minutes is not scary. But when you find yourself saying, oh, Lord, I need a, I need a, a lot, a whole hour, then that is when things become scary. So take 15 minutes a day and be committed to that. If you're writing a fictional book, characters. I take time, really days, to really develop the characters that I want to work with in my book. I mean, I think it's really important because it helps you stay organized. It helps you to remember and figure out who they are. So oftentimes, I will have on a paper, I'll say we have Shayna. I, that was one of my characters that meet me at the altar. Well, I knew that Shayna was a single mother. I knew her daughter was six years old. I knew that she was divorced. So I had her whole entire story on a page so that if I ever got lost within the 250 pages of the book, I could go back to who I said who she was. That way I could remain true to her personality and all of those things like that. And the last thing is an outline. Now you've committed time to doing it. Now you've figured out who your characters are in the book. Well, now you need to be organized. What are your chapters going to be like? So many times we have authors who are writing and then they kind of get lost and they kind of repeat themselves a lot. Well, you won't do that if you're organized. So by doing an outline, I will, let's say chapter one, I like to do mine according to chapters. So for example, I know in chapter one, I want to introduce all of my characters. Chapter two, it might be where Shayna and my other character, Derek, actually meet each other. And so from there, what I do is I say, okay, Shayna wakes up, her child comes into the room, she goes to church, she meets Derek. You know, all those different things that are supposed to happen, you don't have to be very detailed. But I will tell you, the more detail you have, the easier that it will be. So again, every single chapter, I tend to put down as much information that I want to happen in there. That way, it makes it a lot easier for me when I am writing to just go to my pages and say, okay, chapter one, I'm dealing with Shayna and Derek in church. And that makes life a lot easier. And you can kind of really flow through your outline and really you'll find that your chapters are pretty much written. Well, listen, this is Tamika Hall from GospelInsiderNews.com. This was Publishing 101. Write the vision, honey. Make it plain. Until next time, visit me online. GospelInsiderNews.com. Now that you know the good news, don't forget to spread it. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Deanna Crawley. And you're listening, watching, whatever you do, GospelInsiderNews.com.